Hello everyone, I'm Asikhali and this is how to make a library management system in Java and welcome back to another tutorial and this tutorial we're going to create the user using the sign up form now in here on sign up right click here is even in action and action perform and here we need to sign up the user ok guys here is the action performed and here we need to create an object of database connectivity we have the database connectivity in here database connectivity db is equal to new database connectivity okay and now in here we need the data of uh, these elements uh, which is name username and password uh, a string of name is equal to um, okay guys before that we need to add a name for this and the variable name should be name okay and this should be uh, txt username and this should be txt password txt password this should be this should have underscore and this should have a txt txt name and txt security question and txt sec security question okay and this should be txt answer okay guys now in here in source code the name is equal to txt name dot get text get text ok guys and a string of username is equal to txt uh, username here is the username dot get text and for the string of password is equal to txt txt password dot get okay guys and strong of sec security security question is equal to txt txt security question dot get selected items dot get but to string and a string of answer is equal to txt answer txt answer dot get text again okay, have db dot execute and here and we need a skill query and a string of query is equal to insert into the user user the user table in here here is the user and values values this guys this is the syntax of uh, SQL this, the values the first parameter should be should be now the second parameter was the username and we have the username in here guys and here we have the username here is the username the third parameter is the password security question and answer okay guys now in here is the query and 
and the security return on the boolean boolean of result f f result and here and here we need to use from the tools tools package dot helper dot and show and, and then this should be a message okay guys this show function will show an a dialog successful registered okay guys and now I'm in here txt name txt name the set text should be now and txt username the set text should be now and txt password the set text should be now and txt answer the set text should be now okay guys and then here then and else we need another dialog message which is tools dot helper dot show dot show and the, the container and this is oops please try and again okay guys and now now it's logging the user the sign up the user and we need to Add for the login. Here is the login. Events action action performed. Okay, guys. When the user press the lo the login button, and, and in here we need an object of database connectivity. And database connectivity DB is equal to new database connectivity. And now in here DB dot execute query. And then here select and select all from from use from user and where username is equal to this and, and password yes. sorry guys password is equal to this the username and here we have we need to change the name of this element txt username okay and this should be txt password and then here txt username dot get text here is the get text and then here password that get and password you have the get password we need to change this password to simple text so we have another function and, and tools dot dot helper dot convert password and take this okay guys now we need to store this in a results of db dot our result set is equal to this and now in here we need to check here and db dot hours no result set dot next and for next and here we need to uh, open the open open dashboard else and we need to show tools but helper not show and the master should be in correct correct username username or password 
password okay guys and then here this should be surround with try and catch okay uh, and now for the sign up uh, we need to open the sign up button first this dot set visible should false we need to hide this form and new sign up that set visible should true and for the forget password here is the forget password uh, this dot set visible should false and new forget that set visible should true okay guys i think it's finished and now we need to run the app and we can create a user and log into the dashboard okay guys here is the username we can here is a forward password we can set the center this and windows i'm gonna run it again once again okay here is the sign up and name my name is Masi and username Masi or, or we can use um, admin and password 123 and what's your uh, native tone uh, this should be and source English and now sign up okay guys the error is because of we have not had the library of my school database to our project right click on your project and properties and here libraries add, add libraries and here search for gdbc here is my school gdbc driver add library okay and now in here uh, we need to run the app okay guys here is the sign up and name Masi, my name is Masi and username admin password 123 what's the security question is what's your native song and answer English and sign up successfully registered okay guys the back button does not work and we need to add the event for this back button and here double click on back button and then here we need to this does set visible set visible Check false and new login the set visible set true okay guys and now let's just check here is the user and the user that we have created using the for main I see what's your native language English and now we can sign up and uh, let's create the home frame here is the G frame and home finish here is the home and then sign up and login and open the dashboard this that open open dashboard this that set visible set visible false and new home does set visible just true okay guys now we need to run the app uh, okay here is the username which is admin and the password is one two three now log in guys this is the dashboard and we can uh, we can sign up another user and back and login and here is the forward password uh, okay we will complete the forward password in the next tutorial thank you for watching and share